In this video, we'll learn how to solve for missing sides of triangles using the law of cosines. So law of cosines, you will be using this equation right here. A squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a, where b and c are two sides of a triangle that are given to you and little a is the side you're looking for. So for example, if you look at the right, let's say we're looking for this side here the angle opposite it would be big A in the formula, and then B and C would be the two sides given to you. Notice this is, can be used when you're given side, angle, side. So the angle in between the two sides. So I'm just gonna copy that formula again. That way we can reference it when plugging in. So if you look at example one, we're going to find the measure of the missing side here. Here they're looking for PQ. And I'm going to use a little a to represent that missing side. Now, you can only do this when they give you the other two sides and the angle that's in between those two sides, which will usually be the one that's opposite that little a. So here, angle 73 is going to be our a or angle that we plug in to our formula. Sorry, that should have been a cos A. And this should be 2BC. So here, I'm going to start plugging into my formula. So B and C are the two other sides, so I can use those. So we have A squared equals B squared or 15 squared, plus c squared, or 13.3 squared, minus 2bc, so I'm just putting b and c in parentheses, and then cos angle a, which is at 73 degrees, we see in the picture. Once you have everything plugged in, you're going to do it a chunk at a time. So in a calculator, I would do 15 squared, that comes out to 225, Then next, I'm going to do 13.3 squared. That comes out to 176.89. Now I'm going to do this whole piece. The 2 times 15 times 13.3 times cos 73. And that comes out to 116.656. Now that I have everything um, narrowed down to three numbers, I can actually do all of these on the calculator. So on a calculator, I'm going to plug in all of this. So I get one number. So 225 plus 176.89. And then it was minus 116.656. That comes out to 285.234. Now we have one last step. Right now our equation is equal to a squared. We don't want it to be squared. So the opposite of squaring would be to square root it. So A is going to equal the square root of 285.234. So this comes out to about 16.9. I'm going to round to the nearest 10 since this is the final answer. So we go back to our picture. This side is now 16.9. Seems to make sense. It's close in size to those other sides. 
Let's look at problem two. So this time they want side AC, so that's my little A. And we need an angle that's opposite or across that one, which would be angle B. They didn't give it to us, so we're going to need to find it first. So I'm going to calculate that. I'm going to add the two angles we do know, 61 plus 56, and subtract those from 180 because the three angles in a triangle add to 180. So that comes out to 63 degrees. So angle B is 63 degrees. And then the other two sides they gave us can be my B and my C. I'm going to start plugging into my formula. So we have A squared equals B squared or 22.7 squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine, and then the angle that was across from little a is going to be our big A, so that's 63 degrees. Now we can start chunking these and plugging them into the calculator. So I'm going to start with 22.7 squared. That's 515.29. Now I can do 24 squared. That's 576. And next I'm going to do this in one big chunk. So 2 times 22.7 times 24 times co 63. That comes out to about 494.668. Now I can put all of these together in the calculator. So 515.29. Plus 576. Minus 494.668. And I get 596.622. My last step, we don't want squared. The opposite of squaring would be to square root it. So now, since it's my final answer, I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. This comes out to about 24.4. So that's my answer for little a in my picture. Makes sense because 63 is the biggest angle, so this side should be the biggest.